Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and out of graphic design as pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday is kind of a special day, it's Halloween. Now disclaimer, if you guys are watching this on Halloween, that means you guys kind of missed out on the Halloween tips, but you guys can take this into next year whenever you start developing your plans for Halloween for next year. So I created a few sketches on my iPad Pro. I just wanted to make sure I was creepy enough for the teenagers because if there was anybody that was going to market Halloween to, it would be teenagers because this is really their holiday. They get to party. They get to do all that type of stuff. And if you were to watch movies on this day, you would see a lot of teenagers doing that teenager thing. So this is pretty much their holiday. And I want to market my t-shirts to them. So I need to create t-shirt art that's going to work for them. So with this one, I'm going to take the sketches from my iPad Pro and apply it to a t-shirt. So if you guys learned something new today, go ahead and like and subscribe. But with that one being said, let's go ahead and make magic. So here we are in Photoshop and there's a few things that I need to talk to you guys about before I even start this. Now, I like the sketchy pattern. I like the way that this looks or whatnot. And I really don't want to change this up because this is supposed to be creepy. It's supposed to be a creepy day. And I made kind of like a small little logo right here. It looks like a hashtag to you guys, but it's actually two T's. So like I said, I wanted to appeal to like teenagers and stuff like that. So they're going to see this hashtag and they're going to be like, oh, that's kind of cool. But when you look at it, it actually is two T's and it's saying trick or treat. So you have these two T's right here. And then with this, I want to apply this two T's to this face right here. This little creepy drawn out, sketched out little face. And I think that we can make this one work. So what I want to do is I want to get these out as background. And the way that we would go about this is a simple process. So actually, let's start off with this logo. So what I want to do first is just kind of zoom in real quick. And I want to make sure that the background of the entire document is the background color of the actual logo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then I'm going to hit OK. Now with that, what I can do is I can hold down Command, Option, Shift and click E. And that's going to make a composite shot. So I can go ahead and turn off both of these real quick and then zoom out. So if you notice, this is kind of light and it's not really black. It's kind of like gray. So what we need to do is hit Command L on this. So what we want to do is just push this slider over as far as we can go. I think maybe this right here is OK. Like it doesn't matter because we want this in all black and we hit OK. And then we can take this layer and rasterize it. But now that this is a raster, we can't really use it like we want to because if we scale it up, it's going to get pixelated as you can see. So what we want to do is hold Command, click inside of this layer and then go to edit and copy and we want to come into illustrator real quick and we just want to hit command v now you're pasting a raster image from photoshop into illustrator so it's going to prompt this right here which is you're pasting content copied from a document from a different color profile which is true so what we're going to do is hit ok now with the image trace i'm just going to go ahead and trace this but i also want to make sure that i'm ignoring the white so i'm just going to go ahead and hit this down right here and then i'm going to object expand so now i can scale this up and it looks good no matter what. This is what we wanted. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Command C or just going to edit and copy. I'm going to bring this back into Photoshop. And the trick here is to paste this as a smart object and hit OK. So here we are and we have our hand drawn logo and I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to save this because we're going to use this for like maybe a back design and like maybe a centered back design. I think this is pretty awesome. We can also use this for tags. So with this second design, I want to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command option shift and e to make a composite shot then i'm gonna go ahead and click inside of the white just to get the background out so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the layer mask and then i want to invert the layer mask now i want to turn that into a smart object by right clicking and then i want to hit command l to increase the black points now taking into account that this has a drop shadow inside of it i'm just going to scale this one up i actually don't want to turn this one into a vector so i'm just going to scale this one up like this And with that final tweak, you guys, we pretty much finished this design. So hope you guys are having a safe, happy Halloween. Hope you guys are eating a lot of candy and giving a lot of candy out. So there will be more sketches coming along. And I want to keep that going because we have to be able to sketch out our ideas and put it into motion. And I'm an advocate of saying you just can't jump right into Photoshop or jump right into Illustrator and just create something unless you already have that idea of what you're doing. So if you guys learned something today, go ahead and like and subscribe. 
And in the comment section, tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Are you dressing up? Or are you wearing a, like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something like that? Are you just scaring people just to scare it? Or are you giving out good treats? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.